Hey, how's it going there, folks? Welcome back here to a uh, Sunday. It is the Earthmaster here on this side uh, with an update video on this Sunday, March 17th, 2024. It's about 6.11 p.m. here, California time. And uh, we got some earthquake movement out here in Iceland, away from the area of interest right now. A decent earthquake striking out here across the rift zone, far away from the Reykjanes Peninsula. Uh, the Iceland office here reporting this as a 4.1 EMSC reporting this as a 4.7 it looks like along with a couple other earthquakes kicking up into this area of iceland so uh something's going on out there across the rift zones today uh i don't think we're done with iceland in terms of the uh eruptive activity so looking at the emsc model here uh here is the latest uh looks like they've downgraded it to 3.5 3.7 up north here of the area uh so a little bit of a uh, uncertainty i guess in terms of the uh, correct magnitude out here but it does look like some activity stirring up here uh, specifically in this region of iceland uh, where there's uh, obviously uh, you know some uh, volcano activity quite a few out here across the rift zones so we'll continue to watch that across the grindavik area to reckon this peninsula things look like they are calming down in terms of the earthquake activity a look at the latest area um, around Grindavik here shows a whole lot of nothingness. I still see quite a bit of glowing going on there, but it looks like there's some uh, obscurity going on with maybe the VOG or the uh, or something. It's weird. I'm not seeing anything out there right now from a couple of these uh, uh, stations, these webcams. So uh, definitely some stuff uh, happening. Here's a little bit better view, it looks like. And this is live, it looks like. Still some fissure activity, uh, eruptive fissure activity going on there across the Iceland area. As uh, far as the latest statement goes in terms of the activity out here, let's go check it out from the Icelandic Met Office. The activity of the eruption has decreased. It hasn't ceased, but it has decreased here slightly. Uh, this update was put out, uh, looks like earlier today, uh, still looking at a uh, point. 5 km long fissure uh, with the lava front uh, extending to the west. Uh, looks like that did go over one of the uh, main roads over there, making the road impassable. Uh, lava also traveling southward and is now less than 250 meters from uh, one of the main roads there just to the east of Grindavik. Uh, looks like it's moving at about 12 meters per hour going to take about 20 hours there to reach uh, the main road and 350 or uh, oh yeah we definitely need another 350 meters of uh, forward movement before it could enter the sea so very unlikely that we're going to see this thing um, reach the sea it's still possible hard to tell though with some of the ongoing uh, blackout there across the webcams of Iceland, but we'll definitely continue to watch that. Uh, USGS picking up on this earthquake as well. They're reporting that as a 4.7 up there in Iceland. So um, either way, I think we can agree there's definitely some movement going on up there. It is a uh, major rift zone and, um, you know, a whole lot goes on up there in Iceland. Definitely uh, a whole lot of uh, volcanic activity there across that uh, rift zone. Also, uh, some movement going on here around Papua New Guinea. 5.1 coming in, about 94 kilometers deep for this earthquake. Uh, still lacking activity here around the Solomon Islands eastward. Been uh, fairly quiet here recently in this area. A look at the earthquake 3D globe here. Continues to show lack of activity. Also lack of activity down here across New Zealand. Uh, let me double check that though and see what's going on. Because sometimes the even the EMSC model here misses out on the data down in the uh, New Zealand area. Looks like a 2.6 about uh, three hours or so ago. And a couple other earthquakes in here as well, mainly very small microquakes, but uh, somewhat deep as well, 2.2, 98 kilometers. Uh, there's a 2.6, fairly shallow up here around North Island. And uh, another deep earthquake here, 178 kilometers for, four, for a uh, 2.3, four hours ago. So we're still seeing uh, you know, some deeper activity out here. It's calmed down slightly. But uh, still possibly uh, looking for some movement out here across the New Zealand area. 
Some super deep activity here into the Izu Trench. Look at that 4.0. 500 kilometers here into that subduction zone. Definitely seen a, a lot of activity taking place here in the last 24 hours. It's clustered here in quite a few regions. Got deep activity around the Kurokama Chaka Trench now. Uh, definitely looks like something is in the mix here of seeing some bigger activity soon. Let's go over here to the USGS map and double check this. Uh, looking at, uh, again, some activity with that 4.1 coming in down into the subduction zone of the Kuril Kamchaka Trench. Uh, prior to that, we did see some activity. Uh, this was this morning here, 4.8, just prior to the subduction zone. Uh, so it looks like strain is building up here across this area. We might want to keep an eye on it. It's definitely capable of producing some mega quakes. Uh, 4.0 coming in right now as well. Uh, actually, this one looks like that's from earlier today. Not for sure why it's showing up as a... Uh, oh, that's because I clicked on it. That's right. <laughs> yeah. It's been a fun day. Been outside doing a lot of uh, outdoor work in the heat. It literally reached 81 degrees out here in Northern California today. So uh, one of the warmest days since, uh, well, back in the uh, uh, late summer, early fall season. So, uh, man, goodness. I was actually outside sweating a little bit today, but it's good. Uh, so latest quake of 3.3 down here into the uh, Java Trench area. We did see some movement up here in uh, Afghanistan area once again, 4.0. Well, actually, Afghanistan's over here. <laughs> Whoa, where am I today? Uh, this is going to be China, 4.0 coming in. Afghanistan uh, much further to the west here, and the deep activity there for 4.1 at 191 kilometers uh, so we'll definitely continue to watch up here across the Iceland area. Definitely seen some uh, uh, interesting movement there with that 4.7 and a couple of other earthquakes in that region. You know, when we see uh, a lot of activity out here, this got to mean it's got to mean that something uh, underneath this area is going to get uh, a little bit more active in terms of volcanic activity. So we'll continue to watch that uh, for the Grindavik area and the uh, Reykjanes Peninsula with the ongoing eruptive activity. All right, space weather activity out here. We are looking at, uh, well, a little bit of movement out on the far eastern limb of the sun. Look at that sea flare activity. I believe that's a sea flare there from, uh, yep, C2.1. That is going to be from a, uh, a sunspot that is not named yet. All right here. Uh, there is 3590, our old sunspot, and the culprit of the largest X flare this solar cycle weeks ago. It's made its return trip around the sun and uh, going to give us another show here, it looks like. It does look fairly complex within the center portion of that core. We'll continue to watch these two very active regions as they rotate further into the Earth-directed view. Uh, these two areas down here, looks like there's a little separation going on here with this sunspot core, so there's not a whole lot of hope for that. This area is showing a little bit of complexity. We'll continue to watch that as well. Uh, overall threat right now shows a 99% chance for a C flare, M flare at 30, X flare around 5% chance. And uh, yeah, no major roars in the forecast. Hopefully that will change, right? All right, folks, I just want to jump in here uh, real quick and uh, do a little quick update on the activity there in Iceland. Uh, they're still reporting it as a 4.1. USGS has a 4.7, so that's a little odd. But uh, that is what they are reporting, and it is uh, very close here to a couple different, let me see here, a couple different volcanoes out here. All of these are in the green, uh, but specifically it looks like around, man, the closest one maybe looks to be this area right here. So we'll have to watch it. Uh, you know, plenty of volcanoes out there. Uh, Iceland has seen some, no doubt, some eruptive activity his, historically. And, uh, you know, most lately, the uh, Reykjanes Peninsula down there across the Grindavik area. So uh, we'll, we'll definitely keep an eye on it. All right, folks, hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday. We'll catch you guys back out here maybe a little bit later tonight if we got uh, some more activity to chat about. Take care. Stay safe out there.